Hi guys, it's Brittany. So today is going to be a Q&A video and here are the questions that I got. One, how come Pennywise doesn't dance in the old movie? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Cause, um, when it did came out, it came out in 1990, it was a, a mini miniseries. Um, divided into two parts. One part, one episode was just when, when the main characters um, were kids. And the second part, which is the second episode, was all the kids are now adults and they face Pennywise. But how come Pennywise doesn't dance in the miniseries of it? I I really don't know. I mean, I'm not sure if maybe the director or the writer um, didn't thought of that at the time. Maybe, maybe not. I really don't know for sure. I think, I think maybe the director or the writers themselves would probably would know why they somehow didn't decide. Uh, to let Pennywise to dance in the miniseries of of it, I I really don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is a good question though. I don't know why, like I said, but I know so far in the movie he does. But um, I think no matter what, no matter what Pennywise would do, whether it, if it may look something like something silly he would do or not, I, it would still scare me just because of the fact that I'm afraid of clowns and because, uh, <clears throat> and because to me it's like no matter what clowns do, whether they try to do something to make you laugh or not, I still find them scary and even if they try to do something funny, with me it's like, oh no 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 no, no, don't, 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 it's not even funny, get away from me. So, yeah, um, I don't know why though, but good question. Um, don't know, but I think for those who probably wrote it, will probably would know why, like, like, oh well, we didn't want to make it silly, but we just wanted to make it scary, so I'm not sure what their reason was. So... Sorry, I don't know, uh, I don't know about that, I don't know why. Two, what do you like about Halloween? Well, everything, you know? I have to say, I just don't like it. What I love about Halloween is everything, you know? I have to say the fact that it's fall. You know, like Halloween is in the month of fall. It's not spring. You know, it's not in any of of any month where it's spring or summer or winter. Cause I think winter would be kind of really weird. Like, oh wow, Halloween and and winter, like December <laughs> or January. Like, do that be really strange? But the fact that it's in the month of in October and it's it's a day where you can dress up you can dress up as whatever you want or whoever you want and just have fun and you have so many options on what to do for Halloween you can either stay at home and watch either some scary movies or you know say like I'll say not really scary movies but mostly like um, like fun and spooky Halloween movies are not scary or you can watch some really scary movies you know just for the heck of it or you can even go to trick-or-treating um, you can go out to eat you know in case if you want to go inside to Chili's with a Halloween costume you know that's fine too I mean I would love to do that one day like like like, I, I love that one day where I could just, you know, on Halloween, I could dress up no matter 
what I decide to dress up as so I could just walk into Chili's with a Halloween costume on and just either have lunch or dinner there. <laughs> I, I think that would be nice and if people might start to stare or not, I wouldn't care. Oh, and um, I'm not sure if anyone on Halloween probably does got to eat, like go inside like to Chili's or Red Robin or any restaurant where they just sit down having you know wearing their costume but at the same time eating a really good meal inside a restaurant i'm not sure but if you do let me know if you do because i've never done that but i would love to do that actually because i don't know i think that'd just be fun um but yeah another thing you can do on halloween is yeah stay home and like I said, relax, watch some movies, whether it's really scary movies or not. And I think the best part is the Halloween candy because you can have so many Halloween candies that you can have, which, believe me, I would want some because, uh, I, let's just say somehow, um, it, even though Halloween three months. I'm sorry, not three months, three days. I am so sorry. I think it's because how excited I am for Halloween and for the holidays coming up. I, I can't believe I said it's three months away. No, it's three days away. I'm so sorry about that. But, um, yeah, let's just say I've really been in the mood for some chocolate candy, like any chocolate candy, to be honest, like the the Reese's Cups um because of course I love peanut butter so chocolate and peanut butter together is just really good and even um M&M's what else Kit Kat Twix I don't know just these other <laughs> candies that I can think of it's like I want some like I want <sighs> I want some now because I'm already in the mood for some Halloween candy <laughs> You know, so yeah, um, love everything about Halloween, like I said, especially the whole you get to dress up as whatever, whoever you want. Um, with me though, I'm not gonna say, um, what I'm gonna be for this year, three days from now. Uh, I, I'm gonna leave that as a surprise because. Um, last year I was Harley Quinn and I'm, I'm still happy um, that I was Harley Quinn and that Harley Quinn costume that I had um, that I wore last year that was actually like my very first like like official costume like Halloween costume I ever wore and believe me it felt great because I really felt like I was dressed up like her and and yeah I, I just loved it but this year I'm just gonna keep it as a surprise so yeah I'm just gonna say I love everything about Halloween like dressing up in costume and putting the Halloween makeup on or if it's not Halloween makeup you could put your own makeup on and the Halloween candy and it could do whatever you want whatever you're comfortable with whether if you want to stay home, watch some movies, have, have some Halloween candy, or if you just want to go out somewhere and have fun, like, like, even to those haunted houses, you know, where people are hiding in the rooms, and when you walk past by the room, that they jump out and scare you, I, I love those ones, um, they are fun, so, yeah, it's like you have so many options on what you can do. So, yeah, that's what I love about it, because no matter how busy you are or not, you can somehow still do something on Halloween just to make it fun and just to make the best of that while it lasts, because once it's over, you have to wait until next year. So, yeah. Three. Do you like, do you like pumpkin spice flavored drinks and food? Oh yes, 
But it also depends though too because not everything, you know, there, there's, bleh, I'm sorry, there are certain like snacks and food and drinks that are flavored of pumpkin spice that either may taste good or not. So, I mean, I do. I mean, I think it's fun, but sometimes I think sometimes it could be like, wait, what? Oh, okay. You know? It's kind of like if I heard a pumpkin spice flavored, um, trying to think, let's say, I don't know, like ham or even like, uh, like bacon. Okay. Now this will sound weird. If I heard a pumpkin spice, um, flavored bacon, like real like it's real bacon but it's just pumpkin spice flavor I would actually find that really weird <laughs> you know just really strange because I'm like okay I'm not sure how that would taste you know I'm not, I'm not sure whether if it would taste good or bad or just like you know like I don't know I think with me oh man I'm not sure about that I'm not sure about a pumpkin spice <laughs> bacon because <laughs> I don't know to me I think that's something that would just go wrong like like you think it's gonna be good but then once you cook it and you take a piece of it and you eat it that it's just like oh how bad it is but um other than that I have to say I do like it but it depends whether it may taste good or or not. I have to say I have tried a few. Um, let's see. Now, this is the only thing I've been trying so far this month, which is really good. But the pumpkin spice, um, pumpkin pie spice, um, coffee creamer, which I've been using in my coffee, and that is actually really good. You know, it is. So yeah, like I said, I do like some things that are pumpkin spice flavored when it comes to drinks or food, but it kind of depends whether if it tastes good or bad, so yeah, I have to say if it does taste good, I will like it, but if it tastes bad, then it's like, okay, they should have done this, you know? Four. Did any movie or TV show scare you as a kid? Yes. <laughs> um, to be honest. Now, let's just say, well, I'm going to get to this part real quick. Um, yes, there have been some movies and TV shows that have scared me as a child. And it's, it's quite scary. Now, I'm not sure if any of you are quite familiar with this show, but this show does scare me. I mean, it scares me with its, um, like the, the music, like the theme song of it is like, ugh. But then again, even, well, the show that I'm talking about is Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. And even just saying that, I'm, uh, the music... The theme song is kind of like playing in my head, so, uh, it's kind of like one of those things where it's scary, but you can't get out of your head, so I'm like, oh, I'm kind of scared right now because the music's in my head, just a little bit, but I don't like it, but yeah, um, as a kid, well, my sister and I, you know, we both watched that So Here's the thing, we liked the show, but the thing that scared us was the music, you know, the, the theme song um, of the show, like how... It's kind of like the intro of the show, like how it starts. Oh gosh, sorry it goes again, I'm playing in my head. It's, it's scary, and it's kind of like one of those things that... You, it can't get, it's stuck in your head and 
at some point you may not able to sleep. I hope I can sleep tonight and I hope I could mention something else where this is not stuck on my mind. But not only does the music of the show still scares me and and all that, um, but even the stories because what the show is about is that they will tell at least five. Yeah, I believe five different stories. And well these short stories. And then you would have to think, you know, you have to figure out yourself whether if some of these stories are true or not. But by the end of the show, each one, um, well, the host on the show, um, I forgot who was the first host on the show, but I think later, yeah, sometime later, Jonathan Franks was actually a host. Um, on that show. So, so yeah, by the end of the show, uh, they would show each short story that they just showed, and then he would be the one saying, like, like, was this true? Was this not? Or, you know, he would say something where it kind of makes you think, like, okay, wait, is it true? Is it not? But then once he says, like, it's fact or it is not true uh you know so yeah he would say whether or not this story was true or not and believe me uh there are some stories that have the um i'm sorry now there are some stories on the show which happen to be um fiction and with those that happen to be fiction i'm like well when you think about it, it's kind of in the same way, like, it's kind of like, even though that story is fiction itself, like, that doesn't mean that something like that can't happen, because it could, you know, because anything can happen, but then, when those stories so do happen to be true, to me, it's, it's just, like, so scary, and so you know, shocking to find out, like, whoa, what? Like, so this story about this was true. Like, wow, I'm scared now. <laughs> you know, so... I'll just say that's probably, like, the only show that scared me because of its theme song and because how some of the stories um, so happen to be true and that is it is scary so if you want to watch something like that for Halloween go ahead <laughs> uh, but yeah so that's one TV show that did scare me as a kid which it still does because um, I, I remember watching at least a little bit with my sister on YouTube and since we were watching some of them on YouTube not too long ago Oh boy, uh, it still scares me, you know, just because of how they made it and because how the, the, the theme, the, I'm sorry, how the theme song went for the show and because how, like I said, some of the stories happen to be true, which I find scary and shocking, you know. So, yeah, and one movie, I have to say one movie that did scare me, and my sister, both, um, as kids. Yeah, one movie, yes, and I do mean one movie <laughs> that scared me and my sister and I, um, when we were quite young, is, well, arachnophobia. Yes, it's, uh, um, there's a movie called Arachnophobia, came out in 1990, and Jeff Daniels, um, he plays the main character, and he, he plays a doctor, but in the movie, he plays this character where he has arachnophobia, a fear of spiders, which I can relate to, to his character, and I... I think my sister can as well because she's afraid of spiders too. You know, we both are. 
so yeah even John Goodman's in it he plays the exterminator so I mean it, it is a good movie and I just found out that it's on Hulu and I am thinking of some bleh, I'm sorry I'm thinking of watching it sometime soon maybe at least before Halloween maybe tomorrow yeah but anyway so the reason why this movie was the only movie that scared me um, as a kid which it still does is because well it's, it's about spiders I mean here's what I know so far is that I remember even before seeing the movie I remember even seeing like Daddy Long Legs because you know where I used to live we didn't have like big spiders and even if we did I would be so um horrified you know for my life like okay I don't like this get that thing away from me but no um the the house that we lived in we had daddy long legs and you know they're like quite small you know their bodies are small and they have really skinny legs but still even seeing those ones I'm like uh uh, uh I wanna get away I mean um now when it comes to small spiders I mean I do get scared but not to the fact that I start screaming and running around I was just scared as in like I was just standing there and be like okay I'm gonna get a great review one way or another I'm gonna either whack you with a shoe <laughs> or I'm gonna spray you to death like with the well not bug spray because you know that's not good to inhale bug spray so I have to say I don't know maybe drown it somehow but um like I said small spiders I don't get like too scared of but if it's a spider where it's like maybe like that big or that big or that big or even the size of my hand those are the ones that I do get really scared of more because of how big they are and yeah so anyway on to the movie yeah that one really really scared me that one terrified me as a kid which it still does because well like I said it's about spiders now I do understand some like spiders eat even the big ones which is like okay I don't know to me it's like okay for those who like the, the big spiders I mean you know that's just you you know we're all different you know we're all afraid of something you know it's kind of like well, like, some of us are afraid of something, which is not a bad thing. But then there are some who are not really afraid of those things, and somehow they happen to like them. You know, that's fine. We're all different, but to me, it's like, uh-uh. To be honest, I would never want to end up liking spiders, because they're so freaky looking, and so... So terrifying looking too, so yeah. BS. Yes, arachnophobia really terrified me as a kid because you know, these spiders were big. I have to say what scared me more about the movie was the ending because Jeff Daniel's character was coming face to face with the spider. I think it was either the queen one or the general, I forgot which one. But since he had to come face to face with his fear, you know, of, of that, it's, it's like, I feel bad for him, but at the same time, I know he just wanted to get rid of it, no matter how big it was. Ugh, I'm getting chills just by thinking about it. Uh, but yes, um... You know, I still can relate to his character because, um, like I said, I feel bad for him of how he has to put up with that spider just to kill it, you know, in the end. 
but the end though it is intense though because what, what I um, I think what really scared me the most while watching the movie is that when he is trying to kill it and at some point when he falls and he's laying on his back that you know this big spider is crawling up on his leg and uh what I also don't like is that when this stops at some point when it stops crawling on his leg he's like this you know like like paralyzed and he's shaking which I get that too I know how that feels and I really hate this but at some point the camera gets real close it zooms in onto the spider's eyes <sighs> but yeah ugh, I don't like that at all because like their eyes to me are so terrifying I think that's like the worst part because it's so big and it's just black and to me to me that's something like really dark and and just terrifying like to me like it's really dark and evil looking like that like <sighs> but yeah so I don't want to get too scared here because uh <sighs> I I I, I just don't. I'm sorry. So, so yeah, Beyond Belief Fact or Fiction was probably like the only show that scared me. And Arachnophobia um, was the only movie that scared me because of spiders. And let's just say, even just watching that, I think I knew that I did not like spiders. And now that, not just that I didn't like them, but how much, let's just say to me, I kind of saw spiders for who they really are. And they're like these really freaky looking, but terrifying looking, um, insects that you just don't want to come, uh, face to face with. So to me, I saw them for what they really are and which were what I still see them now as this freaky, dark, and evil looking creatures that that ever existed. <laughs> because one, they have a big body with eight legs. Ugh. Oh man, even just thinking about it, somehow I'm thinking, I hope there's not one behind me. Whew. Okay. I need to stop right now, but yes, they're horrible. And I'll just say this for those who love spiders, like for those who are spider lovers out there, like if you love spiders for what they are, that's fine, you know, I respect that, but then again, like for for those who are, who are truly terrified of spiders like I am because I have arachnophobia, it's like, I hope you can understand and respect for those who are, who, who are afraid of spiders because it, it is a very common fear and it's not something to be ashamed of at all because everyone's afraid of something and it's like I mentioned before that it's okay to be afraid of those that are terrifying looking and and you know it's, it's like what I mentioned before in my other videos that I would rather be afraid of the things that I am afraid of because if I was just numb to it and, and felt nothing at all to me that would be like Kind of like living in a twilight zone world where I'm just not afraid of anything. So I would rather be afraid than not to be afraid at all. So let me just put it that way. Okay, so that's the, I'm done with that question. Um, on with the next one. Do you like to get scared? Well, yes and no. 
and here's why. I do like to get scared, like, I don't know, like, in a good way. And I know that may sound strange, but it's true. Okay, now, let's say this. Let's say if I was watching a movie, um, that is scary. But let's say this movie doesn't have what I'm really afraid of, you know, because I am afraid of spiders, sharks, clowns, and the dark. So let's say... If I was watching a movie that didn't have any of those fears um, that I'm afraid of, then yeah, I wouldn't mind getting scared um, if it wasn't something that I'm afraid of. So yeah, I mean, I don't mind getting scared if it was something else. Like something else that's not a fear of mine and it just so happens to be scary but still scares me then yeah i don't mind getting scared of that i like i don't i don't mind getting scared if it's something that i'm not really scared of like like i would still get scared but it wouldn't be something where it's like okay now i have a phobia of this i now have a phobia of that it wouldn't be like that but I will say this, if I ever watch a movie that, if I watch a movie that has something or, you know, it has a fear of mine in it, you know, like I said, either spiders, sharks, clowns, or the dark, uh, and yeah, if I ever watch a movie of, of, the, of those things, to me, I don't like getting scared when it comes to something that I'm really scared of because to feel scared like that it's really it's really not good to me and it's just one of those days where it's like okay uh oh my gosh wow like don't do that again like if you're gonna scare me please don't scare me with with something that I'm truly afraid of like something I have a fear of like can you just scare me by something else like something that I'm not that I don't have a fear of because you know that's why 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 would you do that to torture me so yeah like I said I do like getting scared but not when it comes to my fears because those are the worst but yes I, I do like to get scared you know just you know, let's say if I'm watching a movie, then yeah, I wouldn't mind getting scared because it's entertainment and because whatever's going on that is just so, that it probably looks real and if it so happens to scare me, then yeah, um, I don't mind having like, like a good scare where I jump and gasp and probably scream a bit. I wouldn't mind that, but for me to get really really scared especially if it's something I'm truly afraid of then yeah um let's just say when I'm really scared when it comes to my fears it's like I can't even um calm I can't even stay calm after that it's like with me I have to at least be like like okay I just watched this and now I just need time to uh to calm down, you know, for my heart to stop racing and for me to do something right now where I could get that off off of my mind. So yes, that's all for this video. I hope you like this uh, Q&A video. And yes, right now I feel a little scared because of the fact that I was talking about the movie of the Ragnophobia and spiders and... Ugh. So yeah, I think I'm done talking about them because I just hate talking about them but at the same time when I do, it's just, mm, no, no, I, I, I get chills, so yeah, and I know for those who are probably wondering, if you're so scared of spiders then why are you going to watch Arachnophobia? anytime soon before Halloween, which I did mention um, quite earlier. The reason why is because I'm like, well, 
I'm only going to watch the movie since it's on Hulu. I'm only going to watch it since Halloween is three days away, so I thought, why not watch it just for, you know, for the heck of it. <laughs> but like I said, um, I mean, believe me, I mean, I, it's like I said, I don't like getting scared. Like, I don't want to scare myself, especially when it comes to my fears, because that is like the worst. But, um, like I said, I'm only going to watch it because Halloween is coming and it's going to come to an end quite soon. So, I might as well at least just watch it once and just get it over with. So that way on Halloween I could at least watch something else that has nothing to do with um, anything um, that I'm afraid of. So that's all I'm gonna say so um yeah yeah so that's all for today uh hope you enjoyed this Q&A video and oh yeah and let me know what you're gonna be for Halloween cause I mean I would tell you what I'm gonna be for Halloween but I'd rather uh keep that a surprise and until then and I'm also gonna say that I'm gonna do some videos on Halloween so when I do then you'll see my costume and you'll see what or who I'm gonna be dressed up as so yeah until then uh, that's all for today and I'll see you at the movies <laughs>